Hey, so I have people ask sometimes, and I see uh, research on forums, people trying to look around and ask about these Ferris mowers and this suspension. Is it a gimmick? Well, I've had this one. I think this is a, yeah, it's an IS2100Z, and I've had it several years. Um, got about 140 some hours on it. I've had plenty of time to play around with this thing and mow with it for the last few years. Um, I got the one with the Kawasaki FX801V. And uh, so far I've had nothing but luck with this mower. Um, a couple reasons why I got it, um, kind of the smaller reasons. So it's got a striper, a striping kit on the deck. Um, it's kind of a rubber, rubber uh, piece back there towards the back. It's also got serviceable spindles. Some people may or may not like that. Not all the Ferrises have that, but this one did, and I like that. All three of the spindles are serviceable. And um, I added, some of them come with the suspension seat as well. I did add that, and that did help in addition. Uh, it's got two fuel tanks, one on each side. Not a lot of machines have that, or not all of them anyways. Got your uh, switch there to go from one tank to the other. Um, but as far as the suspension goes, is the suspension worth it? So this one's got kind of the independent four wheel suspension all the way around it. Um, added that light there. It was pre-wired for a light. Was able to just add the switch up here. It's keyed switch so you can't leave it on. There's my hours. Uh, light works great. I try not to use it a lot at night. Um, because it gets wet and dew and that sort of thing and but if i need to i can so is the suspension worth it depends on your property so if your property is like mine um i got quite a bit of lawn to mow clear over towards that other house over there back here over around the front yard behind the house my property is very rough all right i had a hustler mower before this it was a great mower too but going from a, uh, a mower with uh, traditional zero turn to one with suspension is unbelievable. Uh, my local Ferris dealer sent me home with a model to just test with, and I could not believe how much more compliant it was over suspension. Um, certainly it doesn't ride necessarily like an ATV or something like that, but it is significantly better. And paired with a suspension seat, it's even better. Um, also, the all four wheels stay on the ground a little better. The traditional zero turns are always, they seem to be on three wheels if the ground is uneven at all. This one will do that when it reaches a certain point in the travel, but for, it, it stays on four a lot longer. And it really softens the blow. Now you can still get into some real, real uh, bumpy stuff and hit it pretty fast and, and it's bucking you around still. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not perfect but 90% of what you're hitting, it's better, okay? So if you've got a silky smooth yard, then maybe you don't need the suspension um, and maybe you don't need it anyways. But certainly if I were buying again, I would 100% buy a Ferris with the property I have. If I had silky smooth property, I might look around and see what else there was, um, but I probably would still arrive back at this mower. Um, like I said, I've had this, I don't know, four or five years. I have no issues with any of the bushings. Suspension's all solid. Um, so in my mind, even if it needed a bushing, you know, needed some bushings after eight or 10 years, well, that's well worth the benefit of the ride. The only thing I don't like about this mower, and it's pretty typical of zero turn mowers or any mower, uh, and I can't say if it's better or worse than others but that is build up in the deck. So you see right now, every time I mow, I come back, I put it up on these ramps, I get under there and I knock that stuff out of there with a uh, little chisel or scraper so it doesn't dry up and harden up and just build up under there. So every time I do, um, and I just got done mowing today and you can kind of see what came out of there just from what I mowed today. Um, and it will build up over time. Certainly, if the, if the ground's wet, it's much worse. If the ground's dry, it doesn't do it nearly as much. Um, you know, I, I, I just feel like there's probably a better design that they could have done with the deck or something that, that maybe could be changed there. But then again, I have people tell me with other zero turns that they all do that. 
Uh, there may be a few that are a little better than others, but um, the little bit that I could say there, this is probably not on the better end of that spectrum, but not a big deal to me. Certainly not enough um, to go against the suspension part. So anyways, I uh, hope this is helpful to somebody. Certainly, if you have any questions about Ferris mowers, let me know in the comments, post something down there. Um, but long story short, is the suspension worth it? Absolutely. It has been worth it. Happy mowing.